I've had the fortune to live in Colombia for many years and I've enjoyed the benefits, the nice pathways, the parks, the paths, and those things are very special to Colombia and probably many, many other things as well, like the lake that we're sitting at now. And I didn't want to see those go away. What I like about Columbia is the diversity. That diversity just didn't happen by chance. James Ross planned it in, in the housing, uh, in the Interface Center. Uh, it, it was, so I guess the second thing then would be the fact that it's a planned community. We have lake over here, Lake Elkhorn, which was uh, a man-made lake, a person-made lake. We have Lake Kittimacundi, we have Wild Lake all kinds of, of things that Columbia is because it, they, it was planned to be that way. In fact, I like the whole path of the system. Uh, there's, I could walk from here all the way over to Community College, which is on the other side. Um, I often walk up to the Supreme Court. I live on Lake Elkhorn. I walk around the lake and up to the Supreme Court, which is the third thing I like is all the uh, amenities. The, Athletic Club, the Supreme Court, the pools, the outdoor pools. Yeah, that's that's what I like. I got involved in this Newtown project when I realized that there was a spotty sort of development taking place throughout Columbia that didn't seem to be in line with the original vision of Columbia. I fear that we won't be the community we have to if we don't maintain planning of it. It will become, my concern is it will become just like any other city or town in, in Maryland, but if we don't make sure that we have some oversight of the, the things that we have now, the whole planning aspect of the entire city, that we will become uh, more, more wonderful places what do I like most about Colombia? Well, I, lo I like the predictability of it. The fact that we're, we are able to think that do business on a level playing field. We, we do business in a nice environment. It's not sprawl. It's not in the industrial parts that are spreading out around the town. And the same token, we, where we live, is a more of a controlled environment. We have covenants and controls that keep it nice. The open space is maintained, and uh, we have a, a good standard of living. The um, industrial side of Colombia is a very important part of Colombia. Industrial space and land is very productive. It gets good jobs, and it's good, uh, good for Colombia. And I've started to see that converted into um, very different types of uses, uses that traditionally have not been allowed, not been allowed by the, what we call the, say, the gatekeeper or the entity that looks after the covenants, but also not allowed by the local covenances that control our industrial park. What HCCA hopes to accomplish by this study is to, if nothing else, begin the conversation about maintaining Columbia as a planned community to ensure that some local entity, and I'm not just talking about a Howard County entity, but a Columbia entity, will take over the responsibility that HRD, Howard Research Development Corporation, used to uh, do. One of the things is to, to enforce the covenants uh, of that, that, for instance, uh, keep another gas station from opening across the street from the gas station that's over there. Those kinds of things that make sure that it remains planned community and not just hodgepodge development. I hope to gain from this paper that we are issuing is more awareness of the situation and of course a solution. We really need a solution. We need to lay the groundwork for the planning of Colombia for the next 50 years so we'll become and stay a planned community. Um, it's not about the plan, what's in the plan, 
It's just about being a pan community. So one of the things uh, J.D. Smith and I have been very careful to point out, this is not about personal preferences, this is about staying a plan community. The other thing is that we would like people to start thinking about having maybe a Columbia specific planning board instead of a county planning board. Right now, the gatekeeper, if you will, tends to be the county government. The people who are supposed to be the gatekeepers of of Columbia don't seem to want the job. The county says it doesn't want the job, but my concern is between now and the time we get around to another gatekeeping entity, uh, it'll be too late. In fact, it's completely the opposite. It's, to, me, to me, change is really important. I, change is, is something that happens in my personal life, in work, in, in friendships, and Change is important, and I've always embraced change. You know, we, we've stayed, we're in the number one order of shop in Colombia because we've embraced change. We're always looking for new technologies and keeping ahead. And um, the same thing I would like to see happen with Colombia. There's many, many things that could happen to Colombia. For example, the do need change. And what we've seen is it's actually the entities in place now that are resistant to change. We've had, for example, We've had an open space plan that's the same as it was 50 years ago, or 47 years ago. It's maintained in the same way, and there's lots of things we know now that we shouldn't do. And these have been pointed out. My biggest fear of nothing is done is this all will change completely. And we've already seen the writing on the wall. We've seen how we started to see, for example, the terminology change when some of people in our government talk about our parkways. They've always been parkways and they're beautiful parkways and these parkways get us across Columbia efficiently and there's something that other communities are not lucky enough to have. We can travel seven or eight miles and do that efficiently without traffic jams. Now they're starting to call them urban boulevards and I think that's a real key to what that's in their mind. They would like to change those. Now, Again, if that's a decision of a planned community to change our pathways into urban boulevards, that's fine. But it should be part of a plan. It shouldn't be just arbitrarily selected by the local department of planning and zoning because they think it's a good idea. We want to get the conversation started. We want to be influential in how this works. As you have seen in this, as you've walked around this village center, there are a lot of things that were important to James Grouse's plans for Columbia and plans for the village centers. What we'd like to see happen is that uh, any development that happens inside Columbia Newtown is screened by a Columbia planning board made up of Columbians with skilled input on planning and um, land use issues. And once their recommendation was made, then it could go on to the Howard County plan. The process was a very complex one. It involved hours and hours of meetings, but we looked at every single issue. And now, bear in mind, just about everybody's looked at these issues before, but it was a matter of organizing all the issues. And it literally took, in paperwork, the whole conference table work. It's just a, a massive amount of documents. But the, uh, the part of the process that really worked good was the help we got. And uh, one of the, the help we got from Jen Teresa, uh, Councilman Jen Teresa, was really, really good. She spent a lot of time with us and she gave us one of the best leads we ever had, uh, was, was finding out about the 2007 Newtown report. And then, of course, then Andy Stack came and helped us. And he was just really good. Uh, you know, he put a lot of effort into this report uh, back in from 2005 to 2007, and you know, all this effort, uh, we felt strongly felt that you know he had done this, he devoted all this time along with the other people. Uh, we should it gave us the impetus to carry on because we wanted to see that this uh, process was concluding with his recognition for what all the hard work he, he, that he had done. You know, it's not about Howard County planning our future, it's about Columbians planning our future.
success is to take this report and come up with a solution. Not delay, come up with a solution now, this year, this month, move forward.